Most people are learning and attain the wrong way. They spend hours watching endless YouTube tutorials, but when it's time to build an actual workflow by themselves, they have no idea where to start. So as someone who has built hundreds of anything workflows and has made multiple videos showing you how to do the exact same, I'm going to reveal to you the fastest and most efficient way to learn how to use NA10. So after this video, you won't need to watch another NA10 tutorial because you will be able to jump inside NA10 and start building the automations you have always wanted. So let's jump right into it. And now we are inside NA10's interface and I do got to preface this guys. Obviously it is beneficial for you to have watched some NA10 tutorials so you roughly know how NA10 works and what each one of the different nodes does. But this video's purpose is not for me to show you all the different NA10 nodes. Obviously this would take a lot of hours for me to do. The purpose of this video is for me showing you how to figure out which nodes that you should add in order for you to build the automation that you want. Because believe it or not, that is the part that most beginners tend to struggle with. They simply see this blank NA10 interface and they have no idea which nodes they need to add in order for them to be able to build the automation that they want. So let me show you how you can figure that out in a very easy way. Now the first thing that you have to do is to obviously add in your trigger, which what your trigger is, is how your automation is going to start. And you can see over here, we have a bunch of different triggers. We can trigger our automation manually, we can trigger it on a scheduled time frame, we can trigger it with a webhook, which we use when we are connecting our anything workflow to another frontend that we have built somewhere else, and with all of these other methods. But now you might say, Damian, how am I actually going to know which trigger I should use for the automation that I want to build? And that, guys, leads us on to the main part of our video and to how I personally learned how to use NA10 in a very short time frame, which was by coming over here to the right and using NA10's native AI assistant. Because if you come over here, and you explain to the AI assistant the exact automation that you want to build and tell it to give you the nodes that you need in order for you to build it, it is going to tell you exactly what nodes you need to use and exactly what settings you need to configure inside them. And just so you see how this works in practice, let's say I wanted to build an AI legal assistant which would go, scrape the loss of the specific country that we're on and return an accurate answer to the user. All we would have to do in order for us to know which nodes we need to use to build this is simply come over here and say something like I want to build an AI legal assistant system in which the user will be able to input a question that he has about his country's laws. The app will then scrape relevant government websites, find the answer to his question, format a proper response and then return this response back to the user. And you can see how I basically explained exactly what I want my app to do. Never told it which nodes it needs to use and didn't mention any technical details. Now all I will do is I will simply come over here and say, give me a step by step guide so I can build this workflow. Talk to me like I'm a beginner. And now I will simply come over here and send over this message. And boom, as you can see, the AI assistant is thinking right now. So all we have to do is to simply wait till this done. And boom, guys, this is the response that it gave us. And if we come over here and read it, we can see step one, we first need to collect the user's input. We need to use a trigger, either a webhook or a form trigger in order for the user to be able to submit his legal question and his country. Then, in order to find the relevant government websites, we can either maintain a list of them natively or even use a search engine API like Bing or Google Custom Sets to find the relevant URLs based on the user's input. Then in order for us to scrape them, we can use an HTTP request. Then we simply need to process the data and format it in a nice way, which we can do with the set function. And then we can also use an AI in order for us to create a human-like response and then simply return it back to the user. So for the summary of what we need to do is to add in a form, then we can add in an HTTP request in order for us to find the websites, then either an HTML node or an HTTP request to extract the content, then a set function to format the data and then use an AI in order for us to turn it into a human-like response. So you can see how we literally have a step-by-step -step roadmap exactly over here. And if you aren't sure about the specific step, for example, let's say you're not sure about step two, you can simply come over here and say, explain step two better. What do I need to do? And then simply send over this message. And now anything is going to look inside these docs and give you very specific information. And the good part with the AI assistant is it can also tell you exactly which settings you need to configure inside this node. So it finished generating the answer. And as you can see, it is basically telling us all the options that we have in order for us to find the official government websites. So let's say you wanted to go with option number one, we can come over here and say, 
may give me the exact settings that I need to put in my HTTP request in order for me to do this and then simply come over here and click on enter and now the AI assistant of N10 is literally going to go and give us the exact settings that we need to configure inside this HTTP request as you can see over here it tells us all the steps that we need to do first we need to get a SERP API account then we need to add the SERP API then we can either add in the SERP API node or we can use the HTTP request then we need to configure the node in this way exactly first the credentials then we need to use the query parameter and we can actually copy the queries from over here then we need to enter the country then the language then and also the number of results that we want and you can see how the ai system basically tells us exactly what we need to do in order for us to build our automation and the best part is we can literally do that with each one of the steps that we have over here so then let's say we don't understand step three we can simply copy it and tell the ai assistant hey i don't really understand this step explain it to me like i'm a five-year-old and also give me all the settings that i need to configure in order for me to do it and the ai assistant is going to give you the exact settings so you can basically copy and paste them and have your workflow ready to go now i do want to point out obviously the ai assistant does make some mistakes sometimes it also doesn't pick the most optimal we might say way in order for it to build our automation which in this case for example we wouldn't actually need to use step 4 over here to use a set node since we're going to be transforming the data in the ai node that we have later on but it still is functioning that way it's just not the most optimal way and if you're a beginner it's better to create an automation that's not the most optimal but you still create it rather than you not doing anything because you don't know how to start and the reason i'm telling you to use na10's native ai assistant and not ChatGPT or cloud for example is because na10's native ai assistant is specifically trained with na10 docs to give you the most accurate and up-to-date information because you will see if you make the same questions over to ChatGPT over to cloud you are not going to get as good of a response as you're going to get with the AI assistant and trust me guys I'm telling you because I have actually tested this multiple times and I have found this to actually give me way better instructions and actually instructions that work because sometimes charge a and cloud think there are nodes inside an attempt that don't actually exist there or they make a bunch of other hallucinations when it comes to building anything workflows while any tense AI assistant while not perfect is by far the most accurate AI that we have that can help us build anything workflows and i just want to show you another example just to show you how easy it is i will actually come over here and tell the ai assistant i want to build a lead generation system but i don't know anything about any 10 so give me instructions so i can go and build the system and i will come over here and click on send and you see guys how specifically left this prompt super vague i basically didn't specify anything just to see what Anytense native AI assistant is going to come up with. So it is thinking right now. So all we have to do is to simply wait till it's done. And it just finished. So let's come over here and see. So the first thing that we need to add in is obviously a trigger. We can add in a schedule trigger node in order for us to be able to run this automatically. Then we need to add in an Appify node, which we're going to use in order for us to actually go and scrape the leads. We can use the LinkedIn profile scraper. Then we simply need to process the results and then simply store the lead somewhere, either inside a Google Sheet, Airtable, or even send the leads in our email inbox. So basically all we have to do, guys, if we actually came over here and followed it, is we would have to come over here and add in a schedule trigger node which is pretty simple to do obviously you can configure this to run as often as you want let's say we want this to run every one hour then we can simply click off of this here and then we need to go and do the second step which is adding in the appify node so we'll come over here and we'll search for appify i will simply select it and as you can see we have a bunch of options over here now if you don't know which option of the appify node you need to select what you can do is come over here and simply say how exactly should i configure the appify node and then click on enter and now the ai assistant is going to go and tell you exactly how you can configure it and boom guys as you can see it told us exactly how we can configure it over here you can see we need to click on the plus icon search for appify and then we need to cover here select run actor so we're going to come over here in the actor actions and select run actor now the first thing we have to do is to obviously configure our appify credentials then we can either select the actor that we want from over here or we can also manually add it in by id if we want just to make this simpler i will simply come over here and select the actor that i personally want to use and again if you don't know which actor you need to use you can simply come over here and ask it and it's going to tell you which actor you need to use and then over here the json you simply need to come over here and copy the json that the ai system gave you 
so make sure you come over here you copy it and then you come over here and you paste it in and if you don't know the JSON for the exact actor that you selected simply come over here and ask it and then you will get the results so after you get the results if we actually go over here to the top where we have all the other steps that we need to do is we can process the results using a set node but as you can see this is optional and if I'm gonna be honest we don't really need to do that this is one of the cases that any tense assistant simply gives you more steps that you actually need to do we can simply ignore this one and then we can simply store the leads inside a google sheet so we can come over here search for google sheets and again if you don't know how you can configure the google seed node you can simply come over here and ask it and it's going to tell you exactly how you can do it since i do know how to do it i'll come over here select google seeds and then i will come over here select append row in seed select my google seeds credentials come over here select the google seed that i want to put all this data inside I will simply select it from over here and I will do the same with the seed number and over here you can basically drag and drop in all the schema that you have and if any part of this process you actually get stuck on again all you have to do is to simply come over here explain the issue that you have and it's going to go and give you an answer so that's how you can basically start mapping out automations as a complete beginner and that's how i personally started to learn na10 because at the start i obviously didn't know which nodes i need to add so i simply came over here and explained to the ai assistant the automation that i wanted to build and it basically gave me the nodes now sometimes it's going to give you some wrong answers so you will have to do some back and forth with it explain your issues say oh this doesn't actually exist here what do i need to add in instead but this can actually serve as a very good guide especially when you're a complete beginner so you should think of it as like having a personal teacher above your head basically telling you how to do it's much easier to learn to use any 10 like this rather than you simply being in a fully empty interface just like this and simply trying to think by yourself which nodes do you need to add so i think you get the point i think every last one of you if you're a beginner you should immediately start using the ai assistant it's honestly a cheat code and it allowed me to learn how to use any 10 in a very short time frame compared to other people simply because i was using this tool so make sure you go and try it out yourself and let me know if it actually helped you underneath the comments and if you want to become a bit more advanced you can click the link in my description and come and check out my school community where i have a full any 10 course going over everything taking you from a complete beginner over to a pretty good user with any 10 along with a bunch of other courses for how you can sell your AI automations. Plus, I'm also recording a 100 day roadmap right now, which I'm going to publish in the community in the next couple of days. Which, if you follow, I basically guarantee you're going to get your face paying AI and automation client. And if you don't manage to do that when you're following the program, I will give you all of your money back because I'm just this certain if you actually follow that program for all the 100 days, it's almost impossible not to land your face paying customer. So, if you're interested in this content, along with getting access to a community, of 150 members that are interested in AI and most importantly making money with it make sure you click the link in the description and you come and check out my school community but now youtube thinks you're going to enjoy this video in which i talk about all the stages that you're going to go through when learning anything so make sure you go and watch that next and i will see you over there